everyone. This is Jeffrey Smith, and I'm with Bethany from the Institute for Responsible Technology. Bethany, you answer people's emails. You answer their questions. Give me a question that you think that others, besides the person that you responded to, would like to know. Sure. How do you safely dispose of Roundup? Well, first of all, you force bankruptcy of Monsanto Bear. <laughs> so then you... That would be a nice way to dispose of Roundup. Um, <clears throat> so I've never bought Roundup. I've never had it in my house. So when people ask me originally, I went, I, I don't know, call someone. So uh, I guess you've emailed Bethany and now I have to answer the question. And the answer is call someone. The answer is call the people that handle the sanitation locally and find out how to deal with disposal of toxic wastes. Typically you have to bring it somewhere and it'll be different in different places. You don't wanna just put it in the toilet. You don't wanna put it into the garbage. You do want to dispose of it carefully. Now, you can think about, well, I'll just dump it on the soil and let it degrade. No, please don't. First of all, the degradation of, of glyphosate, the chief poisonous molecule among many in Roundup, has, it's not biodegradable. Uh, Monsanto got convicted of false advertising by a New York court. Um, they knew that only 2% degraded in 28 days. Then they continued to call it biodegradable in Europe until a French court uh, caught them and charged them 28,000 euros. Oh dear. You know, it's like that talk about a, a slap on the wrist. That's hardly, that's missing the wrist. So they got away with murder by convincing people that it was biodegradable. It turns out it depends on the uh, organic nature of the soil where the clay content, the pH, um, and in some conditions it takes decades to degrade. The longest recorded half-life, which is the amount of time it takes to degrade to 50%, was 22 years. It usually would take a year and a half, but again, it depends. And that's just a half-life. So you don't want to put it on soil or dump it in the forest because it'll damage, it'll be maintained, it'll, it'll also destroy some of the um, microbi microbiota, the microbiome of the soil, killing the beneficials, promoting the fungal growth, it's a disaster. So check in locally. Now, if you've already sprayed it, what can you do? I can tell you that I don't have a quick answer to what way you can remediate the soil, but I hope to. So make sure you're subscribing to the Institute for Responsible Technology because I know people who are developing biological remediation agents. In other words, little microbes that you can, they're liquefied, put them in there and they may chew up and dispose of the glyphosate that's already been sprayed. One interesting thing that I learned from Dr. Don Huber, Professor Emeritus of Purdue University, is once you spray it, it can bind and stay dormant in the soil, but if you add phosphate or different things to the soil, it can break that bond and now it's active again. So it's really devious. So uh, the answer to your question, what was the question? Disposing it? Uh, <laughs> let's, let's dispose of Monsanto and Bear, but in the meantime, call someone. Does that answer the question? Yes, that's great. Thank you. Right. Safe eating. <laughs>